The Ryder Cup is golf's greatest show. The biennial clash between Europe and the USA never fails to produce memorable moments and matches for the ages. Today we look back at Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy's epic foursomes tussle with Zach Johnson and Jason Duffner at Medina in 2012. Ryder Cup legend in the making, Poulter and his partner got off to a shaky start, allowing the US pairing to take an early two-hole advantage. Poulter offered some resistance at the fourth, making birdie to cut the Americans' lead in half. Ryder Cup rookie Jason Duffner had won both his matches so far that week, and his birdie at seven gave him and Johnson a firmer grip. With the USA pairing still ahead, Rory McIlroy, who won the PGA Championship a month earlier, came to the party at the 13th. At the following hole, Poults then burst into life, rolling home another crucial birdie. Little did anyone know at this point what was about to come. That's got to run. Well, that's not too bad, Mr. Poulter. Absolutely magnificent. The boy has nerves of steel. All square after the 15th, Poults was bristling and was in no mood to slow down. At the 16th, he put himself in a position to make a third birdie in a row, courtesy of a fine iron shot. This is a birdie putt that's going to swing a long, long way. Oh, he's got it absolutely right. Man of the moment, once again. How does he do it so often? It's just magnificent. With just two holes to go and the autumnal light fading fast, Poulter was on fire. But Johnson wasn't willing to give in just yet. Put it in! Oh. Looks like a good line. Oh. Yeah. We've seen some golf here today. The fist pumps just kept coming. The postman, as Poulter is affectionately known, knew he had to keep delivering. He wasn't the only one, though. But Europe stay one up with one to play. Elsewhere, Sergio Garcia and Luke Donald closed out their match for Europe, meaning all eyes were now on the last contest of the day. There's no one more determined to the Ryder Cups than Ian Porter. Despite Porter's ongoing heroics in Chicago, the Americans weren't giving up. At the 18th, they had the flag surrounded. Duffner hits it in there closer. He's not going to give it away. Rory McIlroy had a chance to end the match for Team Europe with a closing birdie, but couldn't. Over to Jason Duffner for Team USA. He puts the pressure on him. He did what he had to do. Over you, Ian Coulter. In front of his teammates, his captain, and the golfing world, the Englishman was asked to come up with the goods yet again. Oh, straight in. Absolutely. He wasn't going anywhere else at all. And what a finish. Coulter is a prince for Europe. Ten four behind, Europe looked down and out, but Poulter's burst provided huge momentum. They'd go on to win eight and a half of a possible 12 singles points to complete the most memorable comeback in Ryder Cup history. 
Poulter's Saturday masterclass was the spark that lit the flame of the miracle at Medina.